Welcome back to Race Control, day 11 of leg six, and the fleet are still getting great rides in the South Atlantic Ocean trade winds. We've all been wondering what Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing did to go from last back to first in this leg, and now we finally learned. Here's Phil Harmer aboard. In Auckland, just before we left, I was having a Skype conversation with my kids, and uh, my eldest son, Rebel, I was telling him about the storm. He was getting a little bit worried, and he'd just been at a birthday party, he had a, a magic wand. So he did a magic wish, made some magic to make the storm go away, and then also he made one for us, so we would win, and we won the leg. So when we were uh, not going so well earlier in the leg, I, uh, I sent Rebel an email saying, need your help, little buddy. And uh, I got an email back saying that he got the tracker out on the iPad, and he waved his wand and said, abracadabra. Thanks for the message. Revel loves hearing from you. He's been doing some magic spells. He looks at the tracker, waves his imaginary wand and makes a lot of swishing sounds and says abracadabra. It's very sweet. Revel also says, go faster daddy. He asked me to write that to you. <laughs> and here we are, back up with the leaders. So thanks Rev, we owe you one. We'll take you for an ice cream when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Now onto the real racing. Overnight a bit of a split developed with Dongfeng Race Team and Team Brunel to the southwest and Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing and Mopfrey to the northeast. But then Mopfrey put the hammer down to close up gauge, though giving up some miles to get west. The two weather models have joined some, so not quite as big a decision, but the options for the future still remain. Sailing closer to the coast of the US or using a low pressure offshore. For now, it's still just beautiful trade wind sailing, as we see on board Team Alvi Medica and Team LCA. You hear a lot of people talk about the trade winds, how nice the sailing is down here, and how it's probably some of the best sailing you can do in the world. And uh, I'd probably agree with them. Got the best seat in the house on board right now. And uh, I'd like to take a bit of time out of my daily routine to sit up here and enjoy some of it for myself. Nowhere else I'd rather be. Perfect condition for sailing, 20 knots, like 120 twin angle, bow and a reef. Uh, boat goes fast, and, and today it's relatively flat sea, so it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a really good day of sailing as well. So, and the best. Constant wind, warm water, sunshine. Can't much more. Doing 20 knots, and uh, Looks absolutely gorgeous. 
That's it for us today. We'll see you tomorrow with special guests Don Riley and Craig Lewick.